Hey, hello and welcome to today's GFG problem of the day. Hope you're doing well. So let's see today's problem, maximum connected group. So what the problem is saying is we will be given a square binary matrix, okay? A grid is considered binary. Like what it says is a, this grid, this matrix will contain either zero or one. So what we can do is, what we can do is the problem is saying is we can change at most one cell in the grid from zero. If there's a zero, we can change at most one cell. For example, if we change this, right? If we change this from zero to one, we can change at most one zero, right? Okay, uh, to one, okay. So what we want to do is we want to find the largest group of connected ones, okay? Two cells are to be connected if both are adjacent, if both are adjacent to each other. So after changing the zero to one, so what we want to do is we want to find out the largest, largest uh, uh, group, largest group of connected ones. So here, what is the largest group of connected ones? Okay, so this is the largest group of connected ones. Okay, which is what? Three ones here. Okay, plus three ones here. Six plus one, seven here. Right, plus one, seven here. So after converting, after changing this cell, right, from zero to one, we got seven. The, the, the largest connected, the largest group of connected ones. That is seven. So if you see here, the output is seven here. Okay, okay. Now, how can we solve this problem? Okay, how can we solve this problem? So the expected time complexity here is O of n square and space complexity is also O of n square. Okay, so we will, what we'll do, we are going to use DFS, okay, in order to solve this problem. So what we'll do, we will iterate through each cell, okay, through each cell of this grid or of, of this matrix, right? Wherever we find one, okay. So what we're going to do, we are going to have a variable island number, okay, which will start from two. Okay, why two? Because there are already zeros and ones in the matrix. That is why we'll start with two. Okay, so wherever we find, wherever we find, we are going to, wherever we find one, okay, we are going to run a DFS. Okay, and after running the DFS, okay, what we are going to do, we are going to convert, convert this ones, wherever the connected ones are there, right? We are going to convert into island number. Okay, into island numbers. So, so here we found one here, right? So we are going to go DFS, right? And wherever there are adjacent ones, we are going to convert or uh, into island number. Okay, change this into island number. And also at the end, the, the connected group, whatever. So we will return the size of the connected ones. Okay, so here it is, right? The connected ones are, the size will return three. Okay, will size will return three because after this, there are zeros, right? So there are, there's no connection. There's no connection. So we return three. And what we'll do? Also, we are going to take a map. Okay, a map of island number into of island number into uh, island number and the mapping of island number and the size of the connected one. So here in this case, the island number was two, right? The island number was two here. So we also ingested the size of this. For this island number two, the size, uh, the size is, the, the island size is three, right? So again, we go here, we, uh, this is zero again. Okay, we are done. So we encounter one again here. So we are going to, yeah. So before going to, before again iterating through this, right? We are also increment the island number to three. Okay. Now again, we found one here. We are going to run DFS on this. We'll convert this into island number three. Okay. Whatever are the connected ones, we're going to convert into island number three, right? And also we'll return the size of these connected ones, right? So again, it was three only. Okay. At the end, what we're going to do, we are going to, we are going to, we are going to ingest in this map island number three and the size three and the size of this island is three again. Okay. At, at the same time. Okay. Now, if you see, we don't have any ones here. These are already connected or converted, right? To two or three island number two. So we don't have any one, any new island here. Okay. So we'll stop here. Okay. And what we'll do also will, while, while we're iterating through this uh, matrix and uh, running DFS where the cells are one, right? Where the cells are one, we'll also have an answer variable, which will record. So maximum we have found till now is it is three, right? Maximum we will found it is three. So uh, along with this till now, let's code whatever we have just discussed. Okay. Before going to the code, I think this problem is interesting. Also, I'll request you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. So let's, let's, what we'll do, we'll first take the length of this grid, right? So first I'll show you the Java code followed by C++. Okay. So here we took the length. Now what we're going to do, we're going to, as I said, right? We're going to run DFS wherever we find the cell as one. Okay. So here we are going to run DFS. Let, let us iterate through each cell. Okay. Now, yes. So okay. Yeah. Some mistake. Okay. Silly mistake. No problem. 
and this is for yeah so what are we going to do if grid of ij of grid of ij if it is one right then simply what we're going to do we are going to run dfs okay int size equal to to return this this dfs function will return the size of the thailand okay so what we're going to pass grid i j the cell number right i j coordinates right we'll also pass the length and we'll as i said we'll have an island number in island number equal to it will start from two right i will also explain why we are starting from two right so island number will have okay and what else we need to pass here i think uh, yeah that's it that's it going to pass here okay so we'll have our dfs function here int dfs int grade int i int j int n and int island number okay so what are we going to do we are also have going to uh, uh, check for the base cases i if i is less than 0 or or i or j is less than 0 right j is less than 0 or or i is greater than equal to n or or i is sorry j is greater than equal to n or or if if grid of ij grid of ij if it is equal to zero right or again another condition grid of ij if it is already visited if it is already converted to island number right if it is already converted to island number then simply for all these conditions right simply return zero right because these are the corner edges right and if grid of ij is zero then simply return zero we don't want to iterate uh, don't want to take any action for uh, cells zero or if the cell is visited if these conditions fail right that is we have a grid a, a cell containing one right so we'll simply assign island number we are converting that's what i said right here that's what i said right so we are converting this one to two whatever is island number right and also what we're going to do we are going to run a dfs on the adjacent cells right once we found right once we found one year we have converted this to two. Now we want to go to the adjacent cells, right? We want to go to the adjacent cells. So that's what we are going here. DFS, then we have grid I minus one, J, right? Here we are going up, okay, N and island number, right? Similarly, we are going to go up, down, left, and right, right? That's what we want to do c we want to find the connected ones right so that's what we are doing here so now we are going to the left here here we are going down and here we are going to the right okay so okay and what we'll do whatever it is will increment one right whatever it is written from a b c d right this will return the size of the island this will return the size of the island so we have got, we have got the size of the island. Now, as I said, we'll take a map as well. Map of integer and integer, right? Map equal to new hash map, right? New hash map we have. And what we are doing here is map dot put, right? We, what we are doing, as I said, right? The island number, the island number and the size of the island. That's what we are doing, right? So island number we have and the size of the island we are putting, right? We'll also have an answer variable to capture the maximum island size number. Okay. So what you're doing is answer equal to math dot max, math dot max, answer comma, answer comma. What you're doing here is size, size of the island, right? And also what you want to do, you want to increment the island number, right? You want to increment the island number, right? So now, so for the next cell, for the next set of island, right? For the next island, you want to increment the island number. That's what we are doing here. So we are done at least here. One part we are done. Now what we are going to do? Okay. Now, now, now once we are done converting these, right? And recording the size of the island. Now we will iterate through the zeros, right? As we want to change at most one zero to one, right? So, th so that we want to maximize the largest group of uh, the ones right largest group of the ones right so that's what we are going to do here for again we'll copy this we copy this this is what yeah so we are going to check what 
if grid off, now we are going to check for zeros. If it is zero, then if it is zero, okay. So what we are going to do now, we are going to take a set. Okay. So what you want to do, we want to check. We want to check for the adjacent ones, right? For the adjacent islands, you want to check. You want to, if there are any adjacent islands, okay. So what we'll do is we'll take a set here. I'll explain. You'll understand why we are taking a set. Integer set equal to new has set. Okay, we took a set here. And what we are doing here is if i is greater than zero, then set dot add, right? Set dot add grid of i minus one, right? I minus one j. Okay. So what we are doing here is what you are doing here is okay. Let me first write, right? Let me first write this. If uh, it is j greater than zero, then we are what we are doing. We are adding the island numbers to this set. We are adding adding the island number to this set. Okay, you will understand why we are doing this. Okay, so now also what you want to do is i less than n minus one. So we will all we are adding the adjacent adjacent cells right adjacent island numbers to the zero right to the zero so that's what we are doing here okay so here what we are doing here is j if it is less than then simply j plus one right whatever left down right and uh, uh up right whatever the adjacent whatever grid uh island numbers we have we are adding that okay once it is done once it is done, right? Once we are done with this, what we are going to do? We are going to iterate through this set. Integer s set, right? We are going to iterate through this set. We'll also have a maximum. Or let's say, should we have maximum over here? Yeah. Int max size, for example, right? Equal to zero. If int max size equal to zero, what we are going to do? Max size plus equal to so we are going to check map dot we are going to get this the the size of the the size of the uh, island so here what we are doing here is for example for example if this was a zero right sorry if this was a zero so what we are doing here is in the set what we are adding in the set we are, what we are adding for the left what is the island number it is two for the above one it is zero right for the right one it is three and for the below one again, it is zero. But since it is a set, it contains unique value. So it will be zero again. Okay. Only unique values it will have. So we have this in the set. Now what we are doing is we are iterating. We'll iterate through this each element, right? And what we're going to do, we are having a max size uh, variable, right? What we're doing for this particular integer, for this particular island number, get it from the, uh, get the size of the island from this map. Okay. That's what we are doing here. Okay. So what we'll do. So this we got max size right so 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 max size became what uh the the the, the size of the island number two it is three so max size became three now we trade through this okay zero is not there in the map so it will add zero only so for the next element three we are checking what is the size of the the size again is three right so we are adding three plus three so we have found the max island as six here okay now if we change this two from zero to one if we change from zero to one then what it will be six plus one seven we'll get the seven as the answer okay so that's what we're doing here so here if if map dot get s if it is null right if it is null that means uh the this island number does not exist right it is water basically it does not exist we'll have zero or we'll take what map dot get s whatever the size whatever the size right this size that's what we're talking this size whatever the size we are adding this into max size. Okay. Once we are done, so what we'll do simply, we'll add for the zero also, the converted zero from zero to one, right? So as I said, right? So here, what we did, so max size three plus three for this, for this zero, the adjacent uh, island uh, size is three. And this on the right side, it is that adjacent size is three plus one. We are going to convert this, right? So plus one. So this, this island complete will be connected, right? So which would make it seven. Okay. And after doing this, we'll also update the answer. Okay. Max size, comma, answer. Okay. That's what we are going to do. So we are done here. 
right? We'll also return the answer. So here it may be the case that for another zero, there can be uh, another size, bigger size. Okay. So let's, so this is the solution. I hope you've got the solution. Let's compile. Let's see if it is running. Yes, it has compiled. Let's submit the code. I hope you have got the solution. Please, please subscribe to my channel, like the video. I think this is uh, one of the easiest solutions. Okay. So yeah, the test cases seem to pass. Okay. Let's quickly see the C++ code. Before that, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video. Okay. So here it's the same, right? Let's quickly. So here we are taking the grid size and we are starting island number two, right? With island, we are having an ordered map. Okay. We are iterating through each cell. And if there is one, right? In any cell, we are running DFS. We are we are having this size right out of running this DFS right. So these conditions I've already explained the same. We are then uh, marking or converting the one to the island number, then going left, right, bottom, up, and then we are returning the size of the uh, island right. So once once we are done here right, we are adding this into map right into map island number versus against the size, and then we are also capturing the answer. Okay, and in uh, yeah, in case if there are no zeros right. Uh, in the grid. So we are capturing the answer beforehand and we are incrementing the island number here. Okay. So once done, so we are iterating through the cell again and we are checking for zeros, right? And I have explained this for the set. So we are going to run uh, uh, through, through the adjacent uh, cells of, of that particular zero and we'll add the island numbers into the set. Once done, we have got the island numbers. We are going to iterate through the island numbers and search for the size of the island in the map. Okay, once we are done, we'll increment, we'll increase the size, max size, right? Uh, okay, we'll uh, like we'll update basically, and then we'll increase the, the size by one uh, for converting that zero to one, and then we are recording and updating the answer. Okay, so this is a solution. I hope you have got the solution. Please, please subscribe to my channel, like the video. Have a happy, healthy, and a great day. Thank you so much.